Hi folks, Dr. Miller welcoming you to our week six uh, mini lecture video in New Venture Creations here at Upper Iowa University. Today we look at chapter 10, preparing a business plan, which I think is probably the most important aspect of business success as an entrepreneur. We'll explore, uh, we'll describe how to prepare, construct a business plan, identify some stakeholder interests, and explain how to demonstrate proof of the concept. We want to look at some of the elements of an effective business plan and describe how to successfully pitch a new plan. In terms of preparing a business plan, emphasis has been on creating the business plan before starting the business. But investors want a founding team that has the business up and running to prove the concept. There's really no way to answer all the questions about the business without actually starting it. But a feasibility analysis and validation experiments will help prove the concept. When, pre when preparing to write the business plan, identify who is responsible for what. Develop a timeline based on tasks identified. Hold the team to the timeline and work diligently to get the plan done. Consider stakeholder interests. What are the in investor interests? Are they concerned about rate of growth, return on investment? degree of risk, protection? What about your lender's interests? The amount of money that the entrepreneur needs, the kind of positive impact the loan will have on the business. How will the business repay the loan to lenders? How will the lender be protected if the business doesn't meet its projections? What's the entrepreneur's stake in equity in the business? In terms of the proof of the concept demonstration, Ensure that you have a way to demonstrate that you have proved your business concept. Startups must move and adapt quickly, moving from smaller strategies to larger ones. There is a role of intuitive decision making. A role of intuitive decision making. Entrepreneurs inspire confidence in others even when there's no basis for that confidence. They, entrepreneur, entrepreneurs should consider taking a pre-mortem, assuming the new venture has failed, and identify the reasons why. Pretty, pretty dramatic. The entrepreneur's micro-strategy for proof of strategy asks, beginning with the outcomes, what do we want to achieve? Why do we want to achieve this particular outcome? What's the value? In terms of assets, what do we have that will help us achieve the outcomes we seek? Do we have the assets we need to achieve our outcomes? In terms of actions, what specific tasks do we need to accomplish the outcomes? What will our actions accomplish the outcomes we seek? A good prototype is often useful which yields a clear understanding of customer needs when you put the prototype in their hands and watch how they use it. Doing a prototype reduces the risk of failure. Starting with a compelling story, convey the story quickly and memorably about your, your success story. Highlight the critical elements of the business that provide a competitive advantage. Highlight the proofs of, of concept achieved. Present a coherent path to profitability and success that makes sense. Demonstrate the team can successfully execute the plan. Don't assume that your investors understand the business you're in. In terms of getting the attention of your investors, stakeholders, and employees, lead with the most persuasive reason for the existence of the business. Grab the listener's attention for at least the first 15 seconds in terms of your presentation. Emphasize that you're going to solve big, very big, important problems. Identify your market. Talk about the total available market that's available. A big picture thinking often helps in terms of the scope of the, of the business. The initial marketing effort in attracting the first customers are those for which the pain is the greatest. 
So identify, how is your venture solving the problem that you identify? Demonstrate a clear link between the problem or pain and the solution you're offering. What are you providing and how does it specifically solve the problem? Answer, what kind of business is this? Where does it fit in the value chain? Be very specific about who your first customer is. It's very important that you know your, your, your venture's competitive advantage. You need a bundle of competitive advantages encompassing every aspect of the business. Your executive summary should address which advantages will enable the venture to create a unique, unserved niche and serve customers with little or no competition at the start. Be very specific about comparing your offering with that of a significant competitor. It's important to do well while doing good, but can your venture make money? Most executive summaries do not, do not adequately address the business model. Answer, how will the business create and capture value that will enable it to make money over the long term? After the startup stage, additional value is created by other factors. Identify what they are. Can the founding team execute the plan? Why is this founding team the best to execute the plan? What are their skills and experience? Highlight significant accomplishments in the, in, in the industry of team members. Have team members invested, have team members invested their own money in the concept? Does the team have the passion and drive necessary to succeed? Why is now the right time to launch the venture? What makes this concept valuable particularly now? What makes the current environment right for this adventure? Bear in mind that timing is critical. What is the team seeking from investors? What will be the various sources of capital? I know I'm asking a lot of questions, but these are some things for you to think about. In terms of executive summaries, keep it brief, no more than three pages. Read each sentence in your summary multiple times. Make the language succinct and clear. Avoid puff words and phrases. Include recognizable names if there's an established relationship with the person or firm. Explain the business in words that anyone can understand. Avoid business jargon. In terms of preparing the full business plan, strategy, and structure, you can find many templates for business plans online and software products that claim to automate the process. But remember, the most effective plans focus on telling a story about the business in a clear and compelling manner, providing evidence to support claims made, and giving the reader a rich picture of the strategy the company is taking. Components of the business plan include the business, your industry or market analysis, the product or service development plan, the founding or management team, organizational plans, operations plans, marketing plan, financial plan, and growth plan. Components of the business plan include a contingency plan, your timeline, Let's see, are you ready technology, technology readiness levels? That's something that you need to be, need to be very careful with. What is your timeline to launch? Planning and design, testing and validation, launch preparation and business launch. How well has that been thought out? What are some mistakes in developing the business plan? Perhaps boring the readers to death? Trying to do too much too soon? Drowning your plan in jargon? Rapid growth that requires capabilities beyond those of the founding team? One ringleader in a three-ring circus? Not investing capital in your own business? How are you successfully going to pitch your business? How are you going to answer questions? It, remember, investors like to ask questions to which they already know the answers. This tests whether the founding team knows or is making up answers spontaneously. The most difficult questions are complex and contain several underlying assumptions. Restate the question or ask that it be repeated. 
Some final thoughts then on business plans. Preparing and pitching a business plan represents months of work and the heart and soul of a new venture. If your research is done and you have proven the business model in the market, chances of success are enhanced. Even successful entrepreneurs who have started a business without a written plan will need to do one for growth capital or a credit line from the bank. Develop a micro-strategy to achieve proof of the concept. Create a compelling executive summary and pitch. Plan and execute the development of a full business plan. My hope is that these ideas have given you some food for thought, and thank you for being with me during this week six mini-lecture video. Thanks.